Well, here it is, August. We're out at Swan Eye Adaya's. Heather, today we're talking smut. We are talking smut. <laughs> and maybe not the smut you might be thinking of, but dahlia smut. Yes. And so this would be an example of what dahlia smut is. So yeah, what, what are we, we looking at here? This is unique in that this year we had an extreme case of dahlia smut kind of running between our fields and people's yards. We heard a lot about it. And it was the wet, moist June we had. Semi-warm right. temperatures and a lot of extra rain and moisture. It just seemed like they brought the fungus on very quickly. Right, and that's what we're kind of looking at here with these kind of these browning spots yes. on that. So that, that's a fungus that just because of the weathers. Just because of the weather, yeah, the spores were able to thrive. Um, they really just, you need to pick off the worst okay. leaves, but you also need to spray your entire plant with a fungicide, something that okay. can kill those spores. They are in the soil, so you kind of want to spray around your plant and on the plant, okay. up and down, but get the worst of the leaves. You don't have to pick all the leaves off, but we want you to try and get it from right. continuing Because to it spread. is going to spread from, from yeah. new leaves, so even if a new leaf comes out, you know, this will spread on right, eventually onto continue. that new leaf. Yep, so we want to try and stop it. Okay, so you know, picking these off, get a good a good spray on there. And once you pick these leaves off, what should you do with these? They need to go in your garbage, not your compost pile, because you don't want to continue to spread that or have right. it go to the larger compost piles and spread back into your soil. So we really want you to dispose those in the trash. Bag them up, throw them in the trash, yep. let it go, go in the landfill Get so rid it of doesn't, them. doesn't spread. Yes. And then, you know, are there other kind of things we need to look for on the on the dahlias as far as other other pest or disease issues? You know, the biggest culprit or biggest pest to dahlias is spider mites. They thrive in heat and it makes it look like you're not watering enough. So they start drying out your plant from the bottom up. Your leaves start getting drier or okay. browner and they kind of just slowly work their way up and the leaves continue to dry out and people think it's not they're not watering. Spider mites love the heat and the moisture. So the more you water and the hotter our temperatures are, they thrive. So they're really picky in that you have okay. to find something that specifically treats spider mites. Some of your general all-purpose sprays will not cover them, and it's really important to stop that early before right. they take over and dry out. So you can go to a lot of your local garden centers, yeah. and you'll, you can ask them, and they'll, yeah. they'll have a product that right. And there are organic methods that. or non-organic, but you definitely want to find something that specifically treats them. You know, and then you guys, you know, typically have a festival coming up at the end, end of August. We typically do. This is the first time in over 70 years. It's never been canceled to our knowledge and um, it is canceled this season. And that's because of COVID-19 with the restrictions on right. how many people we can have here. But since we can't have festival, we have two months August through September for you to come visit. Right. So, so you, know, um, you can be out here like the display gardens. Yeah. They're, they're stunning. You know, the fields are in full color. So you're still open and people can come out yep. and wander, wander the display gardens, wander the fields. You know, yes. you can come in and get cut flowers and, yes. and even order, see what they like and order them for later. Right. Correct. Yeah. So. And so, you know, for more information on this, you know, the best place to go go to would be your, your website and Facebook. Is that right? That is the best place. We'll keep everything updated. So website is dahlias.com or you can follow us on social media. You know, so for more information on, you know, care for your dahlias, you can definitely go to Swan Island's website or you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you open. So Heather, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.